Okay, so it is the next day and this is the current state of my room. I know it kind of looks the same from yesterday, but I actually did get a lot or a good amount accomplished. I have these three drawers now that are completely empty. I have a bigger like three um, drawer container in my bathroom and that one is almost empty. And today I'm going to bring a couple of my bags somewhere to store them. Not that many because I um, am not gonna like have my car to take it there and have to take an Uber. So I'll be able to get rid of like maybe two or three bags like this bag I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna hopefully bring one of those two bags over there. Um, then I'll carry that bag with me and I'll see what else I can try and bring with me to fit over there. But right now I am going to just make something to eat then I'll shower and I'm gonna head over there now. Okay, so I am heading out now to go drop off some of my things. So I have this duffel bag filled with things have this laundry bag that can barely close and then I have this reusable bag that I have full of uh, not um, well almost full of shoes and so yeah I'm making a dent and getting some of this stuff out of my apartment and yeah I feel like I still have so much more to do and I probably will have like some more room to put things where I'm bringing them but because I'm taking an uber I can't bring everything all at once um, so yeah, that's where I'm at right now. The Uber is like several minutes away, so I'm just waiting for it and yeah. I was in as a kid in elementary school and I was Tessie, one of the orphans. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, they're fighting and I won't get no sleep all night. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Basically, I would just whined the entire time. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, now they're laughing. And dear Edwin, I don't remember if I had like a part in this. Oh, Cordell. Okay. I don't remember. I don't remember who that was. Was that a guy? This was like one of the worst plays we did. Because as we were putting on one of the shows, um, there was like a mouse or like a cockroach or something on stage that scared us and we didn't say a lot and then the audience started laughing which now that I think about it would have been pretty funny but Sarah Dustin books I don't know if I'm going to keep those for ah tricks this was a very scandalous book Mr. Barron, sixth period, and he gave all of us nicknames, so I was Breadstick. This is Spelman Awards from New Albany, which I probably don't need either. I'm gonna keep these for now at least. And I found my, oh, my middle school yearbook. So I have all of my 
well not all my things that I brought with me I have stored away um, there's still a lot more space that I have so I'm gonna make another trip back here maybe one day during the week to bring more stuff over here so now I am taking an uber from where I am back to my apartment so expensive it's like $20 round trip just to do this but whatever my car isn't working right now so that's what I have to do so yeah I'm just waiting now for my uber should be here in like five minutes so I just got back into my apartment from, you know, putting away some of my things and yeah. I have some um, applications that I have to work on. Of course, packing I have to work on and what else? Packing, um, applications, I have to record this one video for a job um, and but yeah, so I feel like there's just so many things that I could do right now. It's like, I just don't know where to start. Okay, hey, good morning or good afternoon. It's like nearly one o'clock. But I got up not too long ago because I had to get up early for work. Got finished with that and took like a little nap. And now I'm up and I'm applying to some um, programs. I've already, I've been making really good progress um, on them. I'm applying to four programs, potentially five, because my Spanish tutor actually recommended um, one program that would be like only for the summer. It would be like the summer before I go to like these other programs I'm applying to. So I may actually apply to that as well. So still trying to figure that out. But um, yeah, I'm applying, besides that one, I'm applying to like four main programs to teach. And I've already submitted the applications for two of them because they'll those didn't like require as much um so now i'm working on one and i originally said that i wanted to get it done by today and i possibly still can but i'm having like i don't know like i feel like a lot of these questions on the application i just i really have to like think about i'm not sure like what to put and sometimes i feel like that the answers can be or the questions can be kind of repetitive which i feel like it's just a thing that a lot of job applications like do um so yeah i'm like working on this one they said they wanted to know for one question five different organization techniques and five different resources that you can use to organize your time i feel like that's a weird question i don't know who knows so i'm trying to like think of things to write for that um and then i have like a few more questions to write for this and then i have an essay to put together and yeah so and then i also have to work on getting um two letters of recommendation um so i have to do that i'm still trying to pack up my room it doesn't look too crazy right now but i haven't really done much the last like day and a half just because i've been working on my applications a lot I do feel like it is getting you know emptier i can pretty much move out a couple of like bigger furniture items soon <clears throat> and then i think later on this week i'm going to go back and store some of my things away um i may do that on thursday tomorrow i'm actually gonna go out and i'm not that excited about it just because it's for a dentist appointment and because like i had invisalign for um a couple of years i have like this one specific dentist and he's only there on a specific day in the week and it takes it's going to take me two hours to get there and then two hours back so i'm not really looking forward to it at all um but whatever so so that's what's like happening right now I'm watching hoarders while i'm figuring out this application and I'm really hoping I get into like at least two of the four programs just so I can feel like I have like a choice. But really, I mean, any of the choices would be would be fine. Um, yeah, and then I just have like so much other things to do. Get a new passport and like figure out a whole bunch of other things. So that is what's happening in my life. It's really hectic right now. I have like a million things to do. But some things, it's like I have to wait for one thing to happen before I can get the ball rolling on everything else. So it's just like a bunch of things looming like on my mind knowing I have to get done. But I just can't even make progress on a lot of them right now. So that's kind of frustrating. 
But yeah, back to these applications. Okay, so now it is later in the day and I spent hours and hours and hours packing, or like packing, unpacking, going through things, throwing out things. Um, it's funny because it's like, I'm I was watching like the show Hoarders earlier today and I was just like, wow, these people are insane. And it's like certain things, I'm like, why do I keep this? And I'm like, oh, but I might use it one day. And I'm like, this is exactly what the people on the show say. So I'm really just trying to like be ruthless and go through everything and just like if a doubt crosses my mind of whether I'm going to use it or whether I should keep it, I try to just throw it out. Um, so I've gone through like a lot of my things today, almost everything. And then I'm going to keep doing this because I feel like I can keep on trying to like get rid of any more like thing if it's just like one little thing here or there to make it easier when I do move. So and trying to organize things the best way possible. It's like, I know I do have a lot of stuff, I know, but I also feel like if I had a bigger space, it wouldn't be as much of a problem. But again, that's probably what something someone on Hoarders would say as well. So, I, yeah, right now it's like, I feel like it just feels a lot more spacious or something in my room, even though I still have a, a lot of crap in here like like it doesn't completely look like I'm moving out yet like it's it's really starting to and it's really feeling like it but I haven't like packed up my suitcase and when once I pack up my suitcases and stuff then I'm gonna have a lot more space and room to like pack things into like these bins I have because right now I'm just like still waiting for like a move out date so I'm just kind of like you know on my toes of what you know how much should I pack away right now because I don't know if I'm gonna be moving next week or in two weeks or so so and I've made so much progress on my application today so now that I think about it it has been a really good day and at first I was feeling a little disappointed with myself because I didn't make it to the gym today and honestly I just have not been feeling the gym I don't know if it's not filling the gym or just not filling my apartment gym. I think I'm just so ready to leave this place and to get out that I just like, and I've never really liked my apartment gym either. It's like always cold and dark and there's like no natural light at all. And there's not that much, um, not that many machines and everything. So I've already had like a slight aversion to my apartment gym. And then now that I like, I'm just really like dying to get out of here. I just have not been wanting to go to my apartment gym like I will even just do like a little quick like um workout in my room I've done that a couple of times but today I haven't even did that done that but you know I feel like I still had a very productive day and you know moving is a lot of work it is an exercise in and of itself I I was getting really hot you know I was jamming to my music so I'm pretty sure I burned some calories so I don't know what I'm gonna do for the rest of the night if I'm gonna try and work on something else um, when it comes to like the application if I'm gonna feel like doing any more like organizing I just want like a date right now like I really like having a date is gonna be more stressful yeah because like okay now the like, go time like for real but I'm like just ready to have like a date set in stone to just really put a move on with everything and just move on to the next chapter of my life and I know that sounds super dramatic but I feel like once I do get out of here it's gonna be like a turning point for me and like just a new chapter that like I'm embarking on Ugh, I'm trying not to say like as much but it's really hard and I catch myself doing it a lot but yeah so leaving this apartment will be a new chapter just a new like journey because I don't know it's gonna be like there's so much that I can do and like there's gonna be like a lot of possibilities of where I should go what I should do and I mean it's gonna be scary because I'm gonna be almost homeless but but in a weird way as like stressful as I know it's going to be to figure out like what is the next move I'm also just so I'm like just looking forward to a change and for something good to happen and I'm just trying to like speak it into existence and think it into existence that something as good is going to come along in these next few months as, you know, challenging or 
nerve wracking and uncertain as they may be. Uh, I'm just putting forth like, you know, I'm putting some things in place so that the rest of my 2019 can be really amazing and the rest of my life can be really amazing. So yeah, most people don't think this deep when they are just moving um, apartments, but moving out of apartment, I'm not really moving to anywhere in particular. I'm just kind of getting out of here, but I'm still ready to do it. So.